The name Earth Temple Gardens kind of came as a feeling. I was sort of looking for a name that sort of really felt right. You know, we're fortunate to live in such a special place. So much of our culture has moved away from worshiping the earth and the natural environment. And here I am in these beautiful gardens. We're surrounded by natural gardens. I think this lifestyle chose me. I grew up in a city. I had uh, some family outside the city who were farmers and I really sort of really connected with that part of the family. When I moved out to the Kootenays and sort of looking for a way of life and it sort of all fit together. I wanted to live up in the north end of the lake and you have to employ yourself and so you have to be creative. And I settled here and here being Meadow Creek and I feel really comfortable in the garden space. Here we are harvesting some burdock root or gobo. Likes to grow deep in the soil. And I like to undermine it and dig around it so I can get the whole root out. I'm pursuing a dream. What I've learned from that is it's, it's not all perfect. It's incredibly challenging. There's a determination that comes deep within that's like, I, I need to express this. I'm a single dad, but my son is with his mom four days a week. My focus is now divided between my son and sort of the harvest day, really trying to fulfill his needs and finding that balance and fulfilling the sort of the needs of the farm. Also really including him in, involving him in the harvest. Like when he's here, everybody knows if, if he wants to play or he wants to help out, you know, whoever he's with, whoever is here on the harvest, like, He's part of the farm, you know, <laughs> he's like part of it, like slow down if he wants to pick peas with you or help do salad greens. That's totally part of the deal. It's all good. I love what I do. So show him that. I feel so fortunate for having the people that have come to this farm. I have employees that have been with me for six, seven years now. They're here because they love to be here. Like we all share the same alignment in trying to provide for the community in a healthy way. The weather in the Kootenays this time of the year, here we are in, in the fall. We get a mixed kind of weather where lots of rain. The evenings are quite cool down mountain weather from the glaciers that are around us. And I mean, here we are today is an incredible day where it's super sunny. It's just a diverse kind of mountain weather. Bath has been taken on the responsibility for, I think it's for the last four years on running the markets and, and sort of giving me the feedback and telling me what I need to do to, you know, provide for a good market stand. You know, one of the kind of jokes about the Saturday market in Caslo is Beth's been doing it so long, I'm like, I wonder if I showed up if they remember who I was. I worked a couple of years ago there and people were like, where's Beth? <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute, it's my farm. <laughs> Every Saturday, we come to the Caslow Market. We do deliveries to the local stores before, and then we sell from nine to one, and we bring root veggies and lots of salad greens and lettuce and garlic and radishes and herbs, onions. I feel like we bring a little bit of everything. I just don't really feel like there's a reason to buy most food from far away. Michael produces a lot of food. There's a couple other farms in the area who produce so much food. I really like the direct farm to customer dynamic. I like meeting the customers and I really like talking about vegetables and I like talking about farming. I love farmers markets. Mm -hmm.